Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Infinity Custom Works, which is actually where we're at today. We're working on the new shop. We have a little bit done out of kind of a lot, but I'm gonna take you around and show you what's going on. So, first thing I did was I got all the cameras set up outside. Uh, there are currently four of them outside. And so that's done. We are just at literally the, the last 1% of paint we need to do. Uh, but I am gonna do a little bit of a, mixing it up a little bit. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So let me show you what we've got done. So we're just finishing up my studio. So this is the first 500 square feet. It's a small shop, nothing fancy. I am actually planning to outgrow this in one to two years, hopefully. Depends on what direction the business takes me in. But uh, so this is the front door. You can see I've got one of the cameras up down there. There's one right there. There's one there and then facing the back. So I have those up currently. And I got uh, my buddy Andy over there, AKA Monkey Boy is uh, doing monkey things. It's just monkeying around. So, all right, so here's the pedestrian door. So this is you walk in. Uh, this is going to be the retail space slash my office slash my studio kind of deal. Um, I am going to put a 12,000 BTU AC in there. And there's a sink that I have to clean up. It's kind of nasty. Uh, but there's this corner is the bathroom, which is a community bathroom, which you have to go out and around that fence there And it's back here in the corner, obviously so This will be my office slash retail space slash Studio kind of thing. I'm gonna insulate the back of the door. We're gonna air condition this side We're getting the paint up. This paint is called shark. This is the color and I think it looks great. It was supposed to be a little bit grayer. Here's the swatch. Actually got the paint. I am using Glidden Premium from Lowe's. As you can see, the swatch looks slightly grayer than the wall. The wall looks a little purple, which I don't mind, you know that. Green and purple are my thing. So we've got our internet stuff over there. There's a big window behind those wood pieces. So I just left them up and spackled them all so there's no light coming through and then we painted over it. So I got some fancy lighting I'm gonna be putting in here and that kind of thing. But this is the production area. We painted this, I think last Friday we painted. Was it Friday we painted this? Andy, was it Friday? Yeah, Friday. Yeah, so we painted this side on Friday. Yesterday, I went and grabbed my trailer and I went and picked up some cabinets. You can see they're just gray, nothing fancy, but I got a crazy good deal on these. They were, these were sitting in one of my client's garage about a year and a half ago. I polished the car for this guy and I remembered he had a ton of them. So I looked his number up and then reached out and said, hey, do you still have any of those cabinets? He was like, yeah, I've got some left. And I purchased all that he had left. So I got one, two, three, and five. So that's eight of the big ones. And then here's two that are a little bit smaller. And then there's, this one's a much smaller one, but there's two of those. There's the other one of those, and then there's a, a real small one here. So with all of those, and then I have three more of the big ones at my house. So if we need them, we're going to use them. So part of my thought process for this, uh, the way we're doing this shop is I want to keep as, as much stuff off the floor as I can because I we're limited on space. I mean, so I pulled my mini in here. I've pulled the blazer in here. Plenty of room to work on regular cars. And then I've got this outside space, which I could have boats 
delivered here and dropped off. Um, again, there's my camera. So this is like right in the middle of that is where my shop ends. So I've got from here to there is 27 feet. So I could put a decent boat right there and still get in and out of my studio with a car if I needed to. But I've also got this space over here, which is pretty cool. I can, I can use this for anything I want. So this is also my space. And then all in front of there is my space. I have plenty of room to work on two boats at a time, three cars, four cars, five cars at a time. I mean, we have plenty of room for everything I want to do. Um, is it the most glorious, fantastic looking place? Absolutely not. But is it functional? Yes. Um, I'm not a real believer in needing to have frontage space on major roads or any of that. Um, I, I've always believed that if you build a good solid quality reputation for yourself and you take care of your customers, they will find you and they will go wherever you're at. And uh, I, I find that to be very true. So with that said, the paint is almost done. As soon as Andy gets this trim done, he's just finishing up these little panels here. You can see how this one's still white in the front. He's gonna, he's gonna finish painting that. Andy, we also should shut this bay door and... Yeah, I got a big problem. Yeah, so, all right. So we're gonna get that trimmed out and then we're pretty much done for the day. I did purchase a couple of things. One of which is this etch and clean, this Eagle etch and clean. Uh, that's an acidic cleaner. I'm gonna clean, we're gonna basically acid etch these concrete floors uh, on both sides, one at a time. And then I've got this uh, Eagle sealer. Uh, this is a clear coat for the floor. So I don't wanna take, I, I think the floor looks cool with all this character from years and years and years of use and painting and all the things. I think it looks cool. So I'm gonna clean it up real good. We're gonna pressure wash it, acid etch it, and then I'm gonna roll on some of that Eagle sealer and uh, make it look all glossy and make it so that spills and stuff don't soak into the concrete. So that's what, what matters to me. I tried to use this home electric sprayer and it was absolutely worthless. I literally did half that wall and it was working great. And then all of a sudden I could not get the nozzle to not gum up and I didn't buy anything to thin the paint. Uh, so I didn't, it just didn't work out. Anyway, I've got covers, brand new covers for all of my outlets. Um, <clears throat> I need, still need to clean the rafters up and that kind of thing, but uh, to date we have done all the spackling we have done all the paint, or we will have done all the paint by the end of today. And then uh, I got a boat I got to do on Wednesday. Today's Monday, so on Wednesday I have a boat, and Friday I have a boat. So I don't know. I got to talk to Andy and see when he wants to come help with the floors, but that's the next situation we're doing. Um, I am going to reinforce this door a little bit. I'm probably going to block off this big window because a i don't think it needs to be there and b it would be more secure and i know locks only stop honest people or whatever but it is what it is i want it to be as secure as possible um so we'll have a we have a security system in here and then the cameras and that kind of thing so we're okay um i might end up putting some wood up on the rafters for a little bit of storage um I am likely going to mount e either the DI water tanks or a compressor there. And I'll most likely put some shelves up here. I'll put as many cabinets up as I can. So I, wanna, I don't want any floor st standing cabinets. I want uh, all of these to be what I put stuff and product in. And we will have, this is going to be a full blown retail store uh, for detailing supplies and my products from detailjuice.com. The caveat is I do not, nor do I plan to ever sell any detailing equipment, products, or anything like that that I don't personally use. So it's not gonna be a free for all and all the brands and whatever. It's what I use as a pro detailer 
And that's it. It's all we're gonna have. Cause that's all we need. If I can make money doing this, or if I can make my cars look amazing, boats look amazing with my own products, you can do it too. So that's where we're at. So we will absolutely have a full blown retail store. I will have pro detailer uh, pickup hours. I have special promotions for pro detailers, people who want to make some money detailing. I will not only show you how, but I can help you uh, with pricing and getting a great deal on amazing products. So that's the plan. So this is the shop update. This is the first video that I have produced of the shop since we uh, basically came around here and showed you guys that this is the new shop. So, all right, there's your 11 minute update on the shop and some of the things we're gonna be working on soon. Uh, the next step after getting all of the trim done in here, I do have to get some, like a pint of white paint because I want to spackle and touch up some of this roof or the ceiling, I'm sorry, because uh, there's, you can see there's holes in it. That hole, there's one back there, wherever that is. They're all over the place. Anyway, so I'm going to get all this ceiling spackled and then I'm going to get some touch up paint to touch up the roof or the ceiling. And after all the paint is touched up, we are going to tackle these floors, hopefully, hopefully this week, we'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Check out detailjuice.com for all your products, uh, needs and all of that. Just remember, so we're gonna do a grand opening in December. I am having my training here uh, in January, 14th and 15th. I am hosting a two day reconditioning training uh, which you can see in another video. If you go to my channel and just search the videos, you'll see uh, that I already posted a video about it. I, there will be more. I'll have lots more information about the training. But so soft grand opening in December, uh, more of a bigger one, probably March 1st when we do the new product launch and that kind of thing. Probably do a meet and greet here and that all of that. Um, but. That's what I've got going on. And the Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday sale is in, I think, two weeks. Now, let me tell you, if you guys follow me and my products, you probably already know that the Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday sale is not only the longest sale that I do, but it's also the best percentage off of every sale all year. But also I do buy tiers for that sale where you spend X amount of money after the discount, you not only get the discount and the free shipping over over $99, but you also get the free product from the buy tiers. So if you check out my group on Facebook, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, we'll get you in there and you can not only learn about all the insider stuff for the product line, but you can also hear about the cool products that we're giving away for all of the buy tiers for the Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday sale for 2022. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Say bye, Andy. Bye. I figured he'd say bye, Andy. Just like I knew, I just knew he was gonna say that. So cool. All right, well, we're done for the day almost. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Let me know if you need me. Check me out on Instagram, which is gary.dean.35. Put that right there. And 813-846-4406 is my cell. Call me if you need me. I can't help you if you don't use the number. Have a great day, guys.